In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to get into ketosis and drop body fat on 227 grams of fat a day. It can be done. Getting into ketosis and eating high fat is everything when it comes to your optimal health. It's not the ketones and eating the fat that's the problem. It's getting into ketosis. How you get into ketosis is through a couple of different avenues, but the main way is to be eating a lot of fat. The problem is with people who've tried the ketogenic diet in the past, they never eat enough fat not the right type of fat, or they don't consider the health of their gallbladder. Oh yes, the gallbladder. A lot of people out there have issues with their gallbladder in terms of sludge where cholesterol is backed up into the gallbladder, or they actually have started forming stones, which that can block that biliary duct system. And when you try to eat a bunch of fat, you feel sick in so many various ways. But not only do you have to consider the gallbladder, but you also have to consider the health of your liver. Eating a lot of fat to get into ketosis, to drop that body fat, then the liver needs to be able to convert the fatty acids from all types of animal fats into ketone bodies that can then be converted into a source of energy, acetoacetate, to get into the cells to give you life. Gotta make sure that liver is functioning properly. To get into ketosis and get lean and funky fresh, you also need lipase. Now this is an important enzyme that also breaks down fat other than the bile coming from the liver, then in the gallbladder, liver, bile salts. We also need to produce enough lipase. Now lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fat. It's produced in very weird places, mainly in your pancreas. So you have to make sure that the biliary duct system is running properly, the system of organs. We've got the liver, the kidney, the gallbladder, the pancreas. We also have this lingual lipase. It's, it's a very small amount, but we also need this lipase in our saliva and then the last place is in these gastric glands in your stomach that will secrete lipase when you eat fat to break it down stomach acid that's one more thing that you have to consider a lot of you guys have hypochlorhydria you have too low stomach acid production from the parietal cells a lot of you guys have low stomach acid hypochlorhydria and it can come from Drinking coffee, soda, processed carbohydrates, chemicals, poor sleep, alcohol, numerous amounts of things. Stress, cortisol will drop the stomach acids. And then, of course, when the stomach acids drop, bacteria grows out of control. That's why you see people with issues with candida and mast cell activation. But when it comes to breaking down your food, you're going to have a difficulty breaking down protein, carbohydrates, and fat if your stomach acids are too low. Yes, stress, well, your body can go into gluconeogenesis too often, breaking down amino acids in the body to raise your blood sugar. And if you're chronically in a state of stress, it will dysregulate your blood sugar and make it almost impossible to get into ketosis, even if you eat all this fat. And that goes into the next arena of why people are not losing weight trying to get into ketosis on a ketogenic or carnivore diet. It's very simple. They're not balancing your, their blood sugar. People who are literally bathing in cortisol cannot get into ketosis. The blood sugar that gets too high will blunt 
the ability to spike your ketones into that sweet spot range, which is a 1.8 to a 3.0, or stress will literally just, freaking stress is gonna contribute to all of those things that stop ketone production or the viability or uptake, like you can't sleep very well, you're chronically inflamed, you can't focus, you have a parasitical and candida overgrowth, um, brain fog, depression, all of these things, your liver not functioning properly, all of these things that really drive your body in the wrong direction can come from too much cortisol and going down that cortisol pathway. Now, when you factor in all of these things I've mentioned in this video, if your liver is functioning properly, your gallbladder is functioning properly, you're not bathing in cortisol and you can actually get some sleep and you exercise, these are the people that literally can melt away the fat eating fat. We are our worst hindrance when it comes to optimal health. It's not hard to get into ketosis. It can take from three, six, and if you are not being smart, up to a year to get into ketosis. But once you're in ketosis, then now your body's using fat as fuel rather than amino acids or carbohydrates or glycogen, which your body's used to using. I really want you guys to understand that once you keep your blood sugar balanced and you can break down the fat, then the body is not gonna incite insulin when you eat fat, no you're gonna have a drop in insulin. You don't need to fast to create ketones. Those aren't viable anyway. I'm gonna do a video on that. People think that fasting puts you into ketosis, nonsense. People aren't factoring your blood sugar. But if your blood sugar is stable and your stress is down and you're moving, like I mentioned earlier, you can go through a block of butter a day as fuel and not store it as fat and well reap all the benefits of being in ketosis and that's how i'm able to go through a pack of butter a day without getting fat if you guys want to learn more go to stephanieperson.com september i will open up signups for the 30 day challenge i also am running a course through stephanieperson.com you can book a consultation if you need my direct health i've been doing this for years working with thousands of people and i got your back Go to the next video and check out, uh, yeah, more. Don't forget to comment below. Tell me if you're having a difficulty getting into ketosis. Let me know. I'm very curious. If you want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. Book a consultation. Sign up for the course if you really need help. It's a $15 a month course where I cover all three diets low carb, high fat, keto, omnivore, and carnivore. And the challenge is coming up. Signups will start in September. Energy. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook is Stephanie the business person. I think that's it. Check out the next video and I'm out.